Forget the handshake. I could kiss you on both cheeks. I could kiss you on the lips. If that's what it took for my elation to sink in. If I got hold of you, and you didn't mind, the hug would be long and proud. Proud of us both. Your voice, ah, your voice. And me hearing it and understanding it. I feel decorated, a hero listening to you. I am scarred but surviving, the laceration slimming, the bruises back in the peach. Such an innocent alphabet it once was. It was an unsuspecting language you tricked and swat. You give the atoms of our expression a certain bugginess, how these atoms build to busy molecules, which in turn combine and branch out to orbiting, spinning, knockabout life. I know the gut of it, the heart and mystery of it, the mad dash and hoo-ha spirit, the fireworks exploding from the outside in. Words like squeeze horns and bicycle bells, punctuation that buzzes and pops, long passages of brilliant low hum, pauses that flicker out, then blaze with sudden gas and fire. Your sentences to me flash like camera bulbs, then flash again like smashes of sun or cracklings of distant lightning. Your stories I breathe into my lungs like a feast. I feed on live wire words to my organs, a stream of jittery letters to my fingers and toes, tender commas to my stomach, exclamation points to my eyes. Your stories to me are as vast and grumbling deep as Zeus appearing on the horizon. Your stories about women who work their way, work their legs like women. Men who fall chest first into spikes. Boys teaching boys to spit and curse. Girls finding corners to hide in. It seems we've heard the same rough songs of children playing board games on the floor, of adults arguing overhead in bullet point. Your stories about places where men beat each other up and grin because it feels good. About the places where men go to hunt and catch nothing. And the haunts of wise-cracking women and cars driving around smart-ass girls and look away of melancholy boys. I gladly lean over into the cliff with you move into the swoon of the fall, note the rocks and sediment in the precipice on the way down. I happily look under things, watch you slit the skins of men, and gaze under the peel away, watch you pull open the eyelids of sleeping women, to wonder at the embers and twigs. I slip under the side of the circus tent with you, walk around the rearing elephants, kick up sawdust, catch trapeze artists. Together we go to the edge and raise up the dome of the sky to gaze at the universe next door. As apprentice surgeon, I follow your scalpel. As younger brother, I put my head to your chest and listen to the heart of your ages, the pump inside the body that lives the stories. I'd like to know the swell of your palm as you write, the jag of your fingers curled and pressed about a pen, the trance of your face when the wind flows through you. How lamplight pools gold over your papers and hands. What words do you choose 
to capture the burn on your balding head. How sunrise splashes your mornings. For your writing is as true as seconds ticking behind everything, as right as a walk in the crisp pleasure of early fall, as clear as a fistful of stars, clean like breezes over the northern sea of icebergs. I love you, for you are the one of that voice. We are soldiers in the same platoon, bodies full of tears and laughter, sweet, sweet blood on our hands, and words forever fighting at our lips. <laughs>